Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. All right, island life and just life in general, it makes us laugh and it drives us crazy at times. Well, it's all fair game when seen through the eyes and interpreted by the pen of Key West's favorite humor columnist. I know she's a favorite here on Good Morning Florida Keys. Mandy packs a vacation into the paperback that you see behind us, and she reminds tourists and locals why we chose this little speck of land somewhere between America and the Caribbean, in hearts, souls, and memories. Mandy, thank you for being back on the show. Thank with you me today. so much for having me, Jenna. It's well, been I a blast. I love having you on the show, Mandy, and of course, I love your column. I'm one of your big fans. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that means the world to me. So, the last time you were on the show it was a couple weeks ago, Mandy. So, what all have you been up to? Since you've been on. I think last time I was here, I had just released, just mm -hmm. within the few, past few days, released my new book, uh, Only in Key West, More of Mandy Miles' Tan Lines. So I was just getting ready for my first book signings and mm -hmm. everything, and they went very well. They've been going really well, and I've been working on setting up more and more signings now that the snowbirds are coming back to town before mm -hmm. Fantasy Fest and the holidays. So we'll get some holiday shoppers, I think, buying it. And I've also been uh, participating in several fundraisers for charities by mm -hmm. and then donating a percentage of my book sales from the fundraiser to that charity. Okay, and I know you have a big book signing coming up. That's right. Week. I'll be signing books and selling copies on Saturday, this coming Saturday, from one, 6 to 9 p.m. during the Key West Musicians Festival at the Smoke and Tuna, which is at number 4 Charles Street in Key West. Mm -hmm. The Musicians Festival is actually a two-day festival, for all day Saturday, all day Sunday, um, with gosh, more than 25 local musicians on the stage, and it's uh, and any money raised through book sales, raffles, 50-50s will benefit the Sister Season Fund, which helps uh, hospitality workers who are unable to work and earn tips for a time, whether they're injured or ill. Um, it sort of helps them keep a roof over their heads, pay their bills, things like that. So it's mm -hmm. really a really good organization. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be uh, helping, it, helping it out. It sounds like a great yeah. organization. And now, Mandy, how has the response been with your new book? Oh, it's been great. Mm -hmm. People are really, really enjoying it. And, mm -hmm. uh, and this book has, has more columns than my first book in it, mm -hmm. and it has uh, some sort of never before published and uncensored commentary from myself about it, about what, either what prompted a column or what kind of response the column got. So mm -hmm. people are really enjoying it and I, uh, I'm, I'm loving that. I love that the response has been good. What have some of your topics been recently, Mandy? Recently, the ones in the newspaper currently have been, uh, I sort of ranted against reality TV, how it couldn't possibly be real because nobody wants to see real people cleaning up after the pet or uh, lying around watching television. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make for good entertainment. Um, I talked about the key deer and how um, I actually, despite my occasional law, despite the fact that I've occasionally broken the law, <laughs> that the speed limit law on, uh, on Big Pine at 30 miles, 35 miles an hour at night is actually a, a beneficial thing when a couple key deer ran out in front of us the other night. So just basically, as usual, any topics that come to mind, anything mm -hmm. that's going on in town or happens to me is, like you said, fair game. <laughs> it is fair game. And Mandy, you have a column that you're going to read for us this morning. What is this column about? This one, I figured since we're all sort of getting in the mood for Fantasy Fest and getting ready, I can't believe it's only a month away. Uh, this is the column I wrote last year after Fantasy Fest when everybody was sort of packing up and heading home. So this ran the Sunday, at the Sunday after the parade of Fantasy Fest. Okay. Uh, it's called, Party's Over, Please Put Your Clothes Back On. <laughs> um, it's all over. You can open your eyes again. Anyone reading these words on Sunday in Key West has apparently survived another fantasy fest. Surviving is one thing, but I wouldn't call the weekend a rousing success if you're only reading this because you didn't know what day it was until the newspaper thwacked you in the face as you slumped in someone's bushes early this morning. Oh well, at least you're still in one piece, even if your disassembled costume is strewn piecemeal around the island and some of your body paint remains on that menacing curb that appeared out of nowhere and tripped you around 3 a.m. As soon as you can pry the tongue from the roof of your mouth and loll your head to one side, you can evaluate the situation and assess any damage. If you, make it, if you made it home or back to a hotel room, preferably your own, with your wallet, camera, and phone, then congratulations. You're in better shape than about half of your costumed cohorts right now. Those unfortunate souls will spend much of today in anxious misery, retracing their sodden steps in a hungover effort to reclaim any number of lost items. Of course, having seen many of this year's aquatic frolickers, I think it's safe to say that even the most exhaustive search will never return the dignity that many of you left in the curbside muck to be discarded unceremoniously by this morning's valiant cleanup crew. Having just survived my own 13th Fantasy Fest, I still have to wonder at the decisions some people make during this last week of October in Key West. What makes anyone think, a 60, what makes anyone think 65 year old breasts that hang to the waist will look better if painted to look like tulips and then put on swinging display at lunchtime on the Friday of Fantasy Fest? And then they seemed genuinely surprised when no crowds of camera-toting men stopped them for photos and leering comments. Go figure. 
What makes people decide that their six-pound wiener dog will enjoy navigating a sea of flip-flops and dodging stilettos while being blasted by hot air bellowing from the food booths of the street fair? Come on, folks, that crowd is no place for a tiny dog. The hot dog will be as flat as a patty melt. What mother decides that Duval Street on the Saturday afternoon of Fantasy Fest would be an appropriate place for a stroll with her five-year-old daughter? Why do some people insist on making their lives difficult with a costume that requires about 37 props, a long tail, and a mask that eliminates peripheral vision? Think about this, people. This may be your first Fantasy Fest, but it's not your first Halloween or costumed event. Comfort is key. Besides, no one wants to hug you by the end of the night as sweat pours from your wig and your detached tail is tucked under your arm. Why don't more people stay until Monday and thus avoid what must be an absolutely miserable Sunday morning drive? I realize it's not always an option, but more of you really should consider it for next year. I can't imagine doing what I did last night and then hearing the insistent knock of a hotel housekeeper at 9 a.m. But hey, at least once your bags are packed and your room is vacated, you get to drive 40 miles per hour for several hours as an unending line of traffic snakes its way slowly along the island chain. So you've got that going for you. You guys have my deepest sympathy, but I'm really glad that I'm not you this morning. I may have made some questionable decisions myself last, week, last night and this weekend, but I made it home with my wardrobe and dignity intact. And from the comfort of my couch, I can now savor a decision I made 13 years ago to move to an island that truly welcomes everyone. Thanks for coming to our party, everyone. We hope you had a great time. Now put your shirt on and be on your way because you're probably in our parking spot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, you always make me laugh. Thanks. In your Thank you so much. Is there any chance of you writing another book, Mandy? I think so. I think uh, I think I have enough columns already for uh, volume number three. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably wait till uh, probably probably be a year or so uh, until I do one. I'd like to do one. I'd like to put one out every every one one and a half to two years would mm -hmm. be great until until people get sick of it. <laughs> well, you have a hard job though picking which ones you put in the book because yes, all of your yes. columns. Yes, I had to winnow. I think I had three hundred to choose from. So then <laughs> there's about sixty or seventy in this in this book. So I mm -hmm. do have more to more to come. And then I still still writing one every weekend. So the the list keeps growing. It does keep growing. And if people want to pick up a copy of your book, where can they get it at? Maybe? They're in local bookstores. Uh, Key West Island Books has them. Margaritaville Gift Shop has them. Um, they're online at Amazon.com, or they can get a signed copy by emailing me at mandymileskw at gmail.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for being back on the show. Thanks Mandy. for having me. We'll I really appreciate it. Soon. Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. All right. I'm going to be right back after this break. Please stay with me.